כתוב ישמח אביך ואימך ותגל יולדתך ונאמר ועבור עלייך ורך מתפוצצך בדמייך ואמר לך בדמייך ונאמר זוכר עולם בריתו דבר ציון אלף דור אשר קרץ את אברהם ושבועתו ליצחק ויעמידי על יעקב לחוק לישראל ברית עולם ונאמר וימול אברהם את יצחק בנו בן שמונת ימים כאשר ציווה אותו אלוהים עוד עולם ועוד עולם אברהם בן חיים הכהן זה הקטון גדול יהיה שיהיה נכנס לברית שיהיה להיכנס לתורה ולחופה ולמעשים טובים אמן מי שבכל תנא אברהם יצחק יעקב משלמון בן תמוי ואבירה פטר אך אני מור נגיע אברהם בן חנה בת יב, עבור שנכנס לברית וכל הקהל מבקשים אותו. כשם שנכנס לברית, כך ייכנס לתורה, לחופה, למצוות ולמעשים טובים. אני רוצה לבקש בבקשה מכל הכהנים שיבואו לברך את הכהן הקטן. And he wants to thank Hashem and say Virkat HaGomel. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaGomel L'Chayavim Tovot Digmalani Kol Tov Amen So thank you, huge amounts of Hakarat HaTov to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for giving us such a beautiful, precious gift. And uh, the birth, birth was such a brocha. It was our first birth in Israel and we just had the most amazing experience. Thank God. Um, a huge thank you to Andy's mom, to my mom for being here with us and all the help you have given us over the past weeks and months. It really is so much appreciated. Thank you also to Andy's sister also for all the help. Wherever you are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. Thanks. Um, <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Also, thank you to my sister and brother-in-law who have arrived literally today from Manchester to be here. It's amazing, uh, amazing having you guys by our side and we really appreciate it. Thank you to all our friends and our extended family for just you know, helping us um, for whatever you've done for us and we're just so eternally grateful. Thank you to... Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you to Rapod uh, Diana of Vicksburg, in his absence, Rav uh, Ben David and Etta for all you, you have done in terms of your help with the names and general shilas and support and guidance. We thank you so much. Nishama and Lavi, you guys have been amazing. Where's Nishama? We have, we have Nishama. waited so patiently. Where, where is Nishama? Right oh, they're downstairs. Oh, they're downstairs. Oh, downstairs. Oh, okay. 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 You've helped so much and <laughs> been so kind and understanding with Emma and the baby. We love you so much. We made Aliyah just over two years ago as a family, and one of my dreams for many years prior to that was to be blessed with a, with a, with a kid born in Israel. And that happened, the Sabra, uh, Kohen, what is good, and another beautiful addition to Israel. Um, so we're so blessed. Uh, so, so thank God for that. My wife, uh, I, I, I know she, she get, you get embarrassed when I talk about you, but to, you, you are my hero. You, you've been amazing throughout the whole birth and existence. And, uh, the four, the four people that popped their head into the labor room uh, at various different intervals to see what was going on also agreed. <laughs> so, uh, so thank God, you've been, a, you've been an absolute strength. I could never do, have done what you have done. Um, just a, a few minutes about the name. Neria, we named him Neria Avraham. Neria means the light, candle, flame, light of Hashem. Um, Shabbos is a central theme for our family. Neshama Rachel was born on Shabbos. Lavi Shimon was born on Tuesday morning, which as we know is the last time you can say Avdala um, up until then. And now Neri Abraham, he was born on Erev Shabbos. So the, the Shabbos is central to our family. And in Yadut, as we know, candles play a huge role in our Avodah, in how we mark milestones. Shabbos, Chagim, in memorial of loved ones. We use flames to represent and remember those who came before us and the forging ahead of new paths moving forward. And so the past, the present and the future link through the imagery of flames. The Pasuk in Mishlei, Perek Chav, Pasuk uh, Chav Zayin says, Ner Hashem Nishmat Adam, that a Neshama is a flame of Hashem within each of us. Within each of us is a unique piece of Hashem, binding us to Him and connecting us all to each other. As, as many of you may know, Rav Neria was the Rosh Hashiva of Kfar and he was a Gadol who was a trailblazer and instrumental in building Medinat Yisrael. He was especially talented and empathetic when it came to dealing with issues Ben Adam L'Chaveron. The Gemara in Shabbos, Kuf Chaf Bet, um, Amud Alif explains the concept of Ner Echad, Ner Le'elef. The idea that when one does chesed or gives over his life to another, it never diminishes from his own. One small flame can light infinite other flames. The idea that just a small bit of light can reject a whole room of darkness. He's also named after my father, Abraham ben Mordechai, Zichron Lebracha. And Annie's grandfather, Zayda Aiv, Avraham ben Yerachmil, their memory should be blessed. The Maral in Perik Shaini deals with the concept of Mila. From a philosophical standpoint, he quotes the Midrash Tanchuma, Tazria, when Tunus Rufus, a wicked Roman general, asked Rabbi Akiva, why if God is so perfect and he created nature as being so perfect, why are you born with a foreskin only to have it cut away? If Hashem wants a Mila, surely then the baby should arrive having been circumcised. So Rabbi Akiva answered saying that there's a fundamental problem with how Tunus Rufus understands nature. Nature is flawed. It's not perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. The products of nature are not perfect. For if they were perfect, they would never change. So there would be no progress. We know that nature changes all the time. There's constant evolution and opportunity for improvement. Nature is considered the seventh level because it's the physical world created in the seven days of creation. And the eighth level is the level above nature and represents the perfection of nature. So we are created imperfect, and our purpose in this world is to perfect ourselves by acting through the power of intellect given to us by Hashem. We do this through Torah and mitzvot, which is the eighth level above nature. So the reason why we do a Brit on the eighth day, because we were created with a foreskin, which is a natural imperfection, and a mila is a repair, a tikkun, an elevation of, the, of nature done on the eighth day, which transcends nature, making it perfect. Mila was given to us as a physical mitzvah to perform as an expression of bringing perfection into this world. Hashem made this Brit, this covenant with Abraham that generations to come would keep. Um, we wanted our little Nuria Abraham to follow in the footsteps of Abraham Avinu and my father and Andy Zayda. We know Abraham has the attribute of chesed, which was so prevalent and strong in my father. Whether it was through his business or just the people he dealt with on a day-to-day basis, my father was also a big Zionist. He loved Eretz Israel. And I know he would be so proud seeing Nuria Abraham today. 
and his grandfather fled Europe and left his whole life behind only to pick up again and rebuild in South Africa. And all he wanted to do was give his kids a life that he never had. This shows the strength of character that he had and that Avraham Avinu showed when he was asked to leave his homeland and go to Eretz Israel. So our little Larry Avraham was born on the 18th of February, which is Yud Zayn Adar Aleph, which is such a powerful time in the calendar. This year is a leap year, as we know with the 13 month added to the year in order to realign the solar and the lunar. Adar Aleph is a month that is transcendent, which re represents a rebalance and a realignment. This year also being a Shemitah year in Eretz Israel, also contains the energy of alignment and balance. Um, in his book, Morality, Rabbi Jonathan Sachs talks about how the world has essentially lost its morality. He brings various different explanations, which I'm not going to get into now, but suffice to say that he explains how we have gone from being a we society focused on our connection to each other, our part in the greater whole, to an our, to an our society, purely inward facing and focused on the self. We have lost sight of what we can contribute and put into the world to make it a better place. It is now more than ever that we so desperately need that flame, that small light to reject the darkness and bring us back to a we society. So in conclusion, we'd like to give our Nerea Avraham a brocha that he should grow up and that he should be that flame, the light of Hashem in the world, to dispel darkness. He should follow in the footsteps of my father and Andy Zayda. He should carry his torch with commitment and passion and contribute towards perfecting the perfection of this world, the realignment and the rebalancing towards a we society. He should enter the Brit of Abraham Avinu with Simcha, Shefa, love of Hashem, and of his Torah and mitzvot. Neri Abraham, live your life with integrity, honesty, and enjoy all the beauty that the world has to offer. Amen. Amen.